This video is going to be me complaining about trivial things, ranting about trivial things. So if you don't want to hear someone ramble about trivial things and you know, you, you click the video anyway, even though it said it's going to be about trivial things, you know, you were warned, so. I like things that are consistent. I like consistency across the board, mindsets, hardware, just about anything. The more consistency, the better. Um, I might even be a little bit autistic about the consistency that I that I like in things. And one of the things I like consistency is in is is in is in 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 his is yeah is speaking right is in uh, pointing devices you know mice for computers. And I'm left-handed. And I like corded mice. I don't like wireless pointing devices because I think they suck. They they lack they lack accuracy, and sometimes there's a little bit of latency on them. You know, you just can't beat a wired device. So, but I'm left-handed, so I have to deal with. I the only the only choice I have because they still don't make left-handed mice, really, except for wireless ones. Um, I have to go for ambidextrous mice. But even those, they'll label them as ambidextrous, but then on the left side of the mouse, they'll put buttons. It's like, um, that doesn't work for people with, who are left-handed. You, you'll constantly hit them. And there's no way to disable those buttons. They're usually back and forward for like web pages and other things. Those are what those buttons usually default to. You know, the equivalent of hitting uh, alt left arrow, alt right arrow, right? And uh, you can't ever disable them. Even when you install their special drivers, um, you can't disable those buttons. So, you know, I have to go for a mouse that's, that's wired, it's ambidextrous, um, has it has a laser as the light source, so I can actually use it on a black surface. Um, the few mice that aren't laser with don't have a laser light source um, that do work on a black surface are really really inaccurate. It just kind of jumps all over the place. You want to make a diagonal line, and it's kind of you know. So um, you know, I'm left with very few choices, and. Uh, this here is something I got on sale. It's a it's a Razer Abyssus mouse. And the tracking is great. Unfortunately, the scroll wheel sucks. All of Razer's scroll wheels suck. They're not very accurate. Um, sometimes you can move, you know, half of a of a little click downwards in the in the wheel and it'll it'll do a full movement. And then sometimes you can do a, a, an entire click and it'll do two movements, but other times it just does one. So it's not very consistent in that area. But uh, what makes them worse is that if there's any dust at all that gets into uh, that gets into the into anywhere in here, um, it'll start acting completely inaccurate. It'll you'll, you'll move upwards. You'll, you'll, you could you could be on a web page and scroll upwards. A bunch of times you're at the top of the web page and you scroll upwards and you watch it move up and down like this. It's just like, oh man, that's almost unusable. So then you have to get a, a thing of, of canned air and put it in, uh, you know, stick the, the, the hose in, in, in between the, the, the spots and go, you know, and uh, in hopes that uh, you can get whatever dust there is out of there. Otherwise, you have to take the mouse apart, which is dumb. And this happens within the first couple weeks that, that you're using it. If there's any dust at all, my place isn't really very dusty, but you know, oh well. So the mouse that I really want um, is has been discontinued. It's a, it's a, a Logitech LS1 mouse. Decent size, decent grip, decent weight, accurate. The scroll wheel is accurate, it remains accurate. The only problem is after a couple years, or sometimes even as soon as a year after a lot of use, the buttons start to go out and, uh, and then you have to replace it. Well, it was discontinued a couple years ago and uh, I went to this, the only place I was able to find it 
you know, new that was selling it, um, that's not a shady website or is not supposed to be a shady website, is this place called uh, Zap Zapals. Zapals. Never uh, hadn't heard of it before, but it seemed to have okay ratings, so I went with it. And I've been waiting uh, about 11 days now, even though I paid for uh, expedited shipping. Uh, kind of a hefty price for hex expedited shipping, and I haven't heard anything from them. I, I asked them, I've asked them several times, hey, what's going on with this? They won't give me any information. But uh, that mouse, you know, was good. It was, it, it, the scroll wheel consistently worked well. It was accurate, um, you know. Um, look, when it comes to accuracy and consistency, I turn off mouse acceleration on any operating system I'm using. And if they, they don't give you an option to turn it off, I'll get a program to turn it off. On Mac OS, there's no option to turn off mouse acceleration. In fact, they on, 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 IO, on uh, Mac OS, they put acceleration on the scroll wheel. So, I mean, it's ridiculous. So, like, if you want to scroll at a medium speed, sorry, there's, there's, no, there's no option. You either scroll really slow or fast. <coughs> it's either... or <coughs> I, I don't know how, how Mac people put up with that shit. Or maybe you've actually paid for their special devices, the special Apple devices, and those might work a little better with the acceleration. I don't know. But because uh, I've I've set up this computer before as a Hackintosh, and I gotta say Mac OS is the OS for if you're wanting to make music. It it is def it's it uses audio hardware the best. It uh, has the most uh, software available for it that's really good. Um, you know it, it's it's a very good OS for for music creation. But uh, a Hackintosh is a very it's a tedious system to do. You can't just do updates. You know, everything is, there's a whole big process you've got to go through because you don't have genuine Apple hardware, right? So, but on that, you know, I had to get a program to turn off mouse acceleration. On, uh, on Linux, I know on KDE, you, you can't just turn off mouse acceleration. You've got to, you've got to get some program and type some things into the command, in a command prompt, and if you want it to be there every time you restart, you have to create a text file that has that command in it, put it in a special folder, and then type another command in a prompt to force the OS to use that, that file that you have in that specific place, right? So um, there's, no, there's no easy option on Linux for that. On Mac OS, there's a program you can get to do it, and then you have to pay like 20 bucks for it. Or maybe it's 30, I can't remember, but... On Windows, though, you just turn off the option that, that says Enhance Pointer Precision, which I've always thought was weird. It should be the opposite. It, it should, you know, if you, if you click it, it should make it act consistently. What, what mouse acceleration is, is about, if you don't already know, it has different tracking speeds depending on how fast you move the mouse. So if you move it really slowly, it has a slower tracking speed. If you move it more quickly, it has a quick tracking speed. So the, the idea is so if you really want to go across the desktop, you don't, as long as you move it quickly, you can just you can get to all the way across the desktop in just a very short amount of space. Well, it, may, it puts accuracy out the window. So I always turn it off. I like consistency, you know? I'm, I'm obsessive about consistency. So um, anyway, so yes, I like the scroll wheel to always act the same. Uh, another thing that, that gets in the way, and I, I'm, not sh I'm not sure how bad it actually is. It's been this way for about a year, and that's around the same time I had gotten a different mouse. Um, this cheap one that uh, met my needs kind of after I ripped out the button the side buttons you physically ripped them out um it, chrome will do this thing where if you move the mouse around for a while and then stop moving it and then you wait a moment and then scroll each click will do double the amount of movement but then if you move the mouse and then immediately scroll after you know after it does that that extreme movement it will now move regular it'll do just one you know one set at a time can't quite figure it out. I, I hate it though. I hate the inconsistency, but you know, whatever. Um, 
So I haven't been able to figure that out. Uh, maybe some of you who have who use Chrome a lot, you know, maybe you've dealt with this too. Maybe maybe you know what it is exactly that makes it scroll at different speeds. If it really is Chrome, I haven't quite figured it out yet. But uh, anyway, uh, I guess I've said what I have to say. I, I just I'm I'm frustrated with the lack of of ambidextrous corded. Uh, mice that use a laser as the uh, light source. Um, you know, if I was right-handed, oh, I'd I'd have tons of options. But uh, being left-handed, it's it's pretty limited. So, anyway.